Good morning, and let me welcome you out to Okalona this morning. It's good to see everybody out. Hope you've had a good day so far, a good Sunday school, and uh, we're glad you're here this morning. And just looking around, uh, I don't see any visitors with us, but we'll, we always welcome our visitors. Uh, yeah, right there, there's one. Yeah, good to have you with us. Is that your, your friend? Uh, that your, it's your daughter, okay, yeah. I'm sorry? You're the original, the original, all right. We like to have originals here with us, so we, we, appreciate, we appreciate that very much. So, well, I want to let you know something. We have a guest up top this morning. Dustin Wesley's here from ProSound, and as you all know, for several weeks, we've been trying to get our sound system. We have a new sound system up there. We've been trying to tweak it, get it worked out. We made some, some advancements this morning. You don't hear a buzz this morning, right? Well, hey, Laura, how are you? I didn't, that's me. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. We've both been absent for a little while, right? Glad you're here. Are you feeling, feeling pretty good? That's good. We, we've been praying for you, Laura. Sure have, yes. So I just wanted to let you know this morning that if you hear something out of the ordinary, they're working up top. We wanted to bring Dustin down this morning while we were actually into our services to make some adjustments to do a little training up top, and we've got some other things we're working on. So we should be excited about all this because we have a new bathroom back there that's uh, getting finished up that's going to be very helpful. And then I think the next project is to kind of level out our stage and do some things there that will allow us to have just one platform instead of two. So we ought to be thankful for the opportunity to do that and the way the Lord's blessing us and those that have a hand in, in uh, prepping for that and getting the, the, the things done. So uh, let's give the Lord a hand for what He's already done here to, already, all right? <clears throat> so with that being said, I'll, I'll welcome you. And uh, then any, we'll take up some prayer requests before we go any further in our, in our services uh, today. So... The, one of the announcements I want to make is our homecoming is coming up in a couple of weeks. As you all know, we have homecoming the third uh, Sunday of August. It is going to be an old-fashioned theme. So if you've if you got some old-fashioned attire that you want to dress up in and come, blue jeans are certainly welcome, but uh, we'll have, that'll be over in our fellowship hall. We'll have a service here and then go over for a uh, fellowship meal and, and good times over there. I was asked about... Any type of group, we did not bring one in this time for homecoming. The reason being we didn't know where we would be with this uh, construction of everything. So what the plan is going forward, Lord willing, we will um, celebrate that another time when we get, get some of this done. So uh, anybody want to say anything about homecoming that's coming up in a couple of weeks? Yeah. Get out your old clothes, yes. Church providing the drinks and meat, and you have to bring the rest. Yes. Yes, church at the park last week was a lot of fun. Uh, I know a lot of people got wet. They didn't get wet from the rain, but they got wet from other... And, and uh, found out that uh, Brother Ashley's a pretty good cornhole player too, right? Pretty good cornhole player, all right. So yesterday we had the first rejuvenation of the men's brotherhood. I don't know if, Brent, you want to come talk anything about that or say anything about it? It was a pretty good turnout. Yeah, one of the one of the goals of Brent, of men's brotherhood really is to encourage men and for us to get together and um, you know have a good time, but uh, but also um, get a devotion. We had a good uh, devotion yesterday, and then also to identify any needs 
that our church might be able to help with, that the men might be able to help with. So we're, we're asking you all this morning, on, Brent, I'm going to say this on behalf of you guys, but if there's anybody that has a need, you know, whatever that is, if, it, if it's some, a yard needs to be mowed, something done to a house, whatever the need might be, uh, please let us know so we can be a minister uh, in the community from this church through the men's brotherhood program. So don't be shy about bringing that up. Let's, let's uh, go out and help those that stand in need, all right? Um, I do want to say that our youth is meeting again on Wednesday nights over in the fellowship hall. So if you are here and you have a young one and they want to come out and be a part of that, uh, we want to certainly make you welcome to come out on Wednesday nights. So any other announcements that we want to share this morning? Yes. Yes, for those new converts and new folks that are coming into our church, the um, new believers class that Brother Ashley is conducting, that's, that's important. I ask that you come and be in attendance for that. So um, any other things? And then we're going to move into our prayer request today. Okay, so I do want to say, Laura, it's good to see you here. We've been praying for you, and I had some others here, John Wayne, uh, you are continue to be on our prayer list. I know you've been going through some things with your hands, right? And we want to certainly continue to lift you up. Uh, John Kelly back there is John's, you doing pretty good, John? Yeah, John's doing, doing pretty good. Um, Renee Hall, she's now married to a Lakes. I think that's her last name, right? Renee Hall Lakes, is that right? It's her father that is uh, going through some issues and needs our our prayers this morning, along with our pastor search committee. I know they're making progress, but uh, they need to. We need to be praying about the next person to lead our church congregation. So, any other any other any other prayer needs this morning that we want to lift up? Unspoken. Yes, some unspoken prayer needs. Bob Seagrass. It's interesting how just some little, we think they're little, but they pack a powerful punch can cause our systems to kind of react like that, right? Let's be much in need. Good to see uh, everybody here this morning. I'm going to ask uh, Brent, would you care to lead us in prayer this morning? Remember these prayer names. Thank you. I want to read a little bit of something to you. I picked up a book the other day. It's a little devotion book from Hobby Lobby. I just happened to pick it up and look at it. It's been really good. I've really enjoyed it. But God is love. He loves us no matter what. He, some of the things that we maybe may do throughout the course of the week or day to day, he may not like. We may stray from him. But we know that uh, just asking forgiveness and coming back to, to him, he is uh, willing to take us back in and restore us. This is a, a little, couple, two or three sentences about love, but the things that are in this book so powerful, and they speak to me, and, and I hope they speak to you. So let this kind of sink in and just see how this is in your life. It says, let my love seep into the inner recesses of your being. Do not close off any part of yourself from me. I know you inside and out. So do not try to present a cleaned up self to me. Wounds that you shut away from, from the light of my love will fester and become wormy. Secret sins that you hide from me can split off and develop lives of their own, controlling you without you even realizing it. Open yourself fully to my transforming presence 
and let my brilliant love light search out and destroy hidden feet, uh, hidden fears. This process requires time alone with me as my love soaks into your innermost being. Enjoy my perfect love, which expels every trace of fear. The Lord knows all about us. He knows everything about us. We're not perfect. I'm certainly not perfect. I think we all would admit that we're not perfect. But when you sit and concentrate on what the Lord has done for you and what he can do for you, that he take care of us. So just remember that. I thought that was great. I've got to... So this morning, I'm going to ask that you stand. We have victory in Jesus. We have victory that we can celebrate this morning. Laura, you're here. That's a victory right there in Jesus. Miss Helke, we have your uh, original daughter here this morning. That's, that's a blessing. And we have others that I know have been going through things, and the Lord has brought you through it, and, and it's victorious. And one day, we won't have to worry about any of that stuff because we're going to be with Him, and things will be made, made perfect. But let's sing about His victory this morning. You know this song very well, Victory in Jesus, number 475, if you want to follow along there as we worship today.